Alexa, ceiling fan on. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to add Wi-Fi control capability to your existing ceiling fan so that you can speak to Alexa or Google or control it via your phone. Now this is an older Hunter fan in our living room and we can control it with a remote on the wall, three speeds and a light but we added a Wi-Fi controller so now we can control it um, many ways using Amazon or our cell phone. Okay to get started let's take a look at the module that's currently inside the ceiling fan. I took it out here and this is what's going to be inside most of these fans and this control um, speaks to the remote that we had mounted on the wall. It allows the fan to turn on and off and go three different speeds. It also turns the light on to the fan. So once you open up your fan, you're gonna find this control box and then you'll take your new control box with the Wi-Fi capability and you'll swap the wires identically. I suggest taking a picture so you know what color goes where. And then I'll put up a diagram here to also help you. So here's a diagram of what your new Wi-Fi capability box is gonna look like. You can see it's identical to the last one as far as wiring, so just match up the existing wires. Okay, to remove this fan in order to get to that wireless um, controller, first we need to unscrew this and the canopy light comes down. Then we're gonna unscrew every uh, fan blade and take that off but they're simple and then the entire um, shroud up there twists and comes down and then you can get to all the electrical wiring. You'll obviously need to be um, safe with electricity and know a little bit about it so turn the fan on and the light on and go flip your circuit breaker and wait for the light to go off then you know you've killed the power to this fan and then make sure you close that circuit panel so no one else tries to flip the switch while you're up there. The new Wi-Fi fan controller, you're gonna to wanna to program before you install it. So I just stick it in the wall here and be careful not to short or touch those two wires. I know you guys are gonna give me trouble for this, but I'd much rather get it programmed now before I put up up on the wall. And this is gonna connect with what's called the Smart Life app. So you'll wanna download the Smart Life app in the app store and then you're gonna connect this Wi-Fi device as a fan controller. Once you get the fan controller connected to the Smart Life app, you'll wanna test it on here and make sure that you can control all three speeds and turn the light on and off. Once that works, then you can bring this um, app information into Amazon Alexa or Google and control it with your voice control. But you wanna make sure all this works before you go up and mount this fan controller. Okay, now we're gonna launch the Amazon Alexa app and I'm gonna show you how to add it inside Amazon Alexa. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is enable the skill for Smart Life. So I'll start over here where it says skills and games. I'll press that. I'll search engine for Smart Life app there. And you'll install that and it's gonna ask you for your username and password so that it can speak to Smart Life app. And once that's set up, now we need to go find our fan. So I'm gonna hit devices on the bottom and I need to scroll here and find all devices. And I'm gonna scroll down until I find my fan, which was called Big Fan. Boom, there's our big fan. Currently the power is off and there's three fan speeds. And I need to create four routines. We're gonna create one routine for the speed of one, another routine for speed two, another um, routine for speed three, and the fourth routine is for the light on and off. So I'll hit create routine. I'll hit the plus sign, enter the routine's name. This is just to um, keep track of it, but not what you call it. not what you're gonna tell um, Alexa when you speak to her. Now we add the voice command when we say Alexa big fan one, 
the fan will turn on to the first speed. So we'll hit add action and the action that we're doing here, we'll scroll down until we find smart home. All devices, scroll way down till you find your fan. Mm, this one's alphabetized, that's good. And we want that to turn on and the fan speed to be down here at one. We'll hit next and save it. And now that is your first routine. So you'll want to do another one for um, big fan two. That's so that it goes a little bit faster on your speed. Add action, scroll down, smart home, all devices, big fan, power, fan speed, middle, next, save. Okay, so you'll want to add one for fan speed three and also for the light on and off. But let's take a look at the fan controller on Amazon here, the one that we're using. It is about $25. Yep, $25 and there's a 6% coupon and it's really easy to install as long as you're comfortable with, you know, taking down a light and putting another light back up kind of thing. And it comes with a remote as well that you mount on the wall. Okay, so just to recap a few things because I know I went kind of fast on this video. Um, buy the remote controller, plug it into the wall, set up the Smart Life app and make sure that you can control the fan controller. You'll hear a beep every time it receives the command and the app will show you that the fan is on even though it's not connected to a fan. Once that is good, then you can actually disassemble the fan, install the controller, and then control the fan with the phone app and make sure all of that is good. Once that works, you'll need to go into the Amazon Alexa app and you'll need to enable the new skill to speak to Smart Life app. Once that's set up, you'll need to set up different routines, about six of them, three fan speeds, an on and an off, and then an off for the entire fan. So if you wanna turn off the fan blade spinning. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, feel free to leave comments below if you have questions on anything. And appreciate the like button and a subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time.